All right, guys, so you know I'll be the first person to admit that I don't know a lot about a ton of stuff. No, you won't. I've been admitting I don't know a lot for ages. In fact, if there's anybody who doesn't know a large amount of nothing, it's this guy. And I won't have you coming in here to undermine my great place in society as the world's biggest and arguably sexiest dumbass. Thank you very much. And so I'm going to say this straight up, that I don't know a lot about atheism. Hmm, well, okay. But I have a trick for that particular thing. Consider it a life hack or a cheat code. What you should do is go somewhere that atheists hang out, I don't know, like a baby eating convention or something, and then ask them directly about what atheism is and means to them. There's also typing crap into Google and reading about the definitions and exploring the websites and writings of various atheist groups and speakers. All of these kinds of things are the first things you should be doing to figure something out about, well, a lot of things, really. But the last thing you should be doing is to go online and ask a bunch of stupid questions that you clearly haven't thought about in a video and act like you're making some sort of worthwhile point. And by last thing, I mean don't do that. Sir Sick will make fun of you. And that's the last thing any of us want. But I have some questions for atheists. Well, I'm always happy to answer them, mostly because they, for some reason, tend to be really, really, really silly. And if there's one thing that I'm good at, it's answering silly questions for atheists. It's like it's my job or something. That I'm trying to understand myself. It appears to me that most atheists are Incredibly handsome, I know, I mean, just look at my audience. So many sexy boys, grills, and self-aware animatronic alligators out there. They're just so damn gorgeous. And I'm not just saying that because they like me. They like me because they recognize one of their own. Nepotism. It isn't always a bad thing, baby. Western-influenced, typically white, uh, and typically male. Uh, maybe in your experience, but that's kind of irrelevant. I mean, for starters, there are plenty of athe blabs that are none of those things. The only reason you probably do see them is because you're Western, white, and male. And that's likely going to be the kind of people that you see on the internet, because I'm assuming this is an internet thing, because that's kind of how it works, especially if you aren't very good at getting out of your own little bubble. That doesn't mean that you aren't going to find various other folks doing this kind of thing. If you, you know, actually look. Although ultimately, even if it were true, I don't see how that could be relevant to anything that makes any sense. A cross-section of demographics is more interested in a specific thing. Uh, so what? Now there are... There are some female atheists out there. Are there? Wow, I had no idea. Hey, Miss Sick, did you know that there are female atheists? Why are you looking at me with your no shit Sherlock face? Well, look, I had no idea that women could find the claims of a god or gods to be unconvincing. I thought you lot were too busy thinking about monster trucks and dinosaurs doing sick tricks on skateboards to give that any thought. Uh, and they typically subscribe to the Sersic YouTube channel. No way, I'm thinking of not everyone on the planet. I mean, seriously, I only have not 8 billion subscribers so far. That's clearly not enough and should be fixed post haste. You can help by clicking subscribe right there. Go on, it's not hard. Uh, very militant feminism. Yes, they are all armed and dangerous, those militant lady thists, with their boobs and their desire for equality. Although, seriously, in my experience, they typically subscribe to that pretty standard women should have the rights and equal opportunities kind of feminism. Unless that's what you actually mean when, come on, my dude, are you seriously telling me you don't want a missus who earns as much, if not more, than you? I see those comic books in the back there. We both know what you'd rather be doing than a hard day's work, eh? Uh, so my question is, and this is just from stuff that I've watched because, again, I don't have 
a good point, probably. I mean, you just stereotype the shit out of basically all of atheism as a demographic. They are either random white dudes or, in your mind at least, crazy bra-burning man-haters. When what you'll find is that most atheists are people of all sorts of persuasions from all kinds of backgrounds and cultures and everything else that cover various political and philosophical realms as well as the colour of their skin and the contents of their pants. Uh, an interest in trying to disprove atheism or anything like that. Well, it's a good job you aren't going to try and do that because it would be, in a very literal sense, impossible to do. Because atheism is just a thing that people do when they find claims of theists unconvincing. You can't disprove someone's view on what they are thinking about things. You can only change their minds on the claims that that idea covers. Of course, in all likelihood, even if you tried, you weren't going to achieve that. But that's most likely because I would bet you wouldn't even know what an atheist is if one ran up to you and debunked you right in the testicles. I, I literally just, I don't understand why. Look, okay, I get it. You don't understand f***ing anything, apparently. Here, fine. You get the most ignorant bastard trophy. Clearly, I don't deserve it as much as I thought. Will you please stop proving how much better you are at it and get to the God doesn't exist damn point? Um, why is it that most atheists debate and try to tear down Christianity? Why do these Western atheists who live in Western countries, whose primary religion tends to be Christianity, why do they do the thing that is where they is? I don't know, mate. It must be because of how true and correct Christianity is. I mean, I couldn't think of any other reason why the religion that is the one that if you live there you see most often, and that you would likely associate most with various influential groups that might be pushing agendas that run counter to your beliefs and are based on things that you don't think are true. Why would anyone do that? I know, it's f***ing weird, isn't it? I mean, surely, those atheists, if they were doing their job properly, should spend the vast majority of their time debating those people who think that the Greek pantheon is real. Because they're just so f***ing common, and you can't escape their constant attempts to make their ideology the sole controller of all of society. No. I don't see a lot of atheists debating Buddhists or Muslims. I know, right? Why aren't they debating the Buddhists? I mean, look at them being, in the West at least, a largely extremely chill group who aren't all over everywhere trying to kick science out of school and replace it with random gibberitic nonsense about six days and some guy naked in a garden. Oh, and don't get me started on the Islam thing. I cover Islamic content all the time. It's just I quite intentionally don't draw attention to that fact because all the arguments are exactly the fucking same. Seriously. You take out the nomenclature of Allah and Quran and replace it with Yahweh and the Bible, and they are so goddamn similar in their argumentation for why their thing is true and everyone else's isn't. I mean, part of that is because it's actually the same God, more or less, but that doesn't change the fact that no matter who you are arguing with in regards to whether or not their particular magic man is real, is always just the same shit, different page. Uh, or uh, Jews, uh, it's mostly Christians that they debate against. Well, to be completely fair, I don't debate against anyone. I just point out the silly things that people say. Debate is one of those things that people tend to do in person and f*** that noise. What exactly difference is it going to make if I sit down, listen to what someone says, go off, look into things, refute arguments with actual science as best I can, and come up with well thought out, at least for me, arguments against the thing they are saying, over being right there, having no way to check the things the person says, and thus have to rely on my pretty limited knowledge on any given subject. That's right, nothing. It's not worth doing it that way, at least for me. And it's why I still don't value the debate format for expanding knowledge. Yes, you can learn things. Yes, you can find out how knowledgeable an individual is on a given subject but it doesn't prove shit um and uh why if if you don't believe that god exists oh god if this goes into 
Then why are you arguing against him? You must actually think he exists because no one argues against unicorns slash fairies slash Santa Claus slash insert mythical creature here. I am going to scream until I start vomiting up blood and hatred. I swear to freaking atheismo. Why do you have to spend so much time convincing others of the same thing? Well, aside from the fact that that's not what a lot of atheists are trying to achieve, even if it were, A, assume that I'm correct. Well, having other people correct would be better for not only mine, but basically everyone else's point of view. People would rather be right than wrong in my experience. B, the alternatives are often insisted upon by those who believe them, and they are often doing what you have suggested we are doing here. People are actively, often aggressively trying to convince the world of their ideas. Why the hell wouldn't I want to counter that? When C, Certain groups with those ideas can be extremely harmful to basically everyone, and not attempting to correct the things that are so clearly wrong about them would at least, in my mind, be kind of insane for me not to do. But ultimately, to swing back to the start, I don't give a shit about people being atheist, or crimsbian, or a goddamn worshipper of marshmallows. As long as they don't make ludicrous claims about the universe and try to force reality to fit into their shit, rather than bending their shit to fit reality, as we all should. Like, unless you want to know why I love Jesus and why I think that Jesus is real, I kind of don't care. I mean, I'll listen to what you have to say. And again, if it doesn't involve claims about how reality works, like I love Jesus and think he am real because me heart, what exactly am I going to say to that? But if you're like, Jesus does the real because Bible though, and everyone should believe it. Well, that's fucking stupid. And I'm going to have to be an asshole and point out the ways in which the Bible is objectively wrong all the fucking time. But yeah, you do you, man. If it makes you happy and you don't say stupid shit, that's great, but... Uh, I'm not going to spend my time convincing you of that. Well, you're being a bit of a shit cringebian then. Like, seriously, there are parts of the Bible that say you should do that, and there's a shit ton of very, very annoying people who think that that's true too. And let's be honest here, my dude. What is this if not you trying to spread your ideas to the world? If you really didn't care the way you claim, you wouldn't be making a video at all. Because again, if YouTube is the only way you can think to get answers to questions, well, I don't believe you're actually that f***ing stupid. In fact, you know what? Give it back. You can't have it until you say something really, really, really stupid and prove me wrong. Ah. Uh. And again, that's why I don't really know a lot about atheism, because I don't have enough time to focus on my belief in Jesus Christ. All right, never mind, you can have it back. You don't know anything about atheism because you are shit at being a believer in your own religion. What the hell does that even mean? Seriously, what's going on with this guy? If you don't spend any time considering your beliefs, then why the hell are you even here asking questions about anything. Surely you must be doing that right now, otherwise it wouldn't have occurred to you to do any of this. To focus on your non-belief in a god. Yes, but I don't care about your belief in anything. I literally could not care less what you think. I care, and I cannot stress this enough, what you do and what you say. And from your perspective, at least as you claim, that you aren't doing this in return is kind of bizarre. Not because I think all people should think and feel about things in a similar fashion to me, but because you're sat there talking about it, while apparently never having spent second one actually thinking about it. I mean, I make fun of theists all the time for not having properly considered or understanding the topics they choose to discuss, but this guy is straight up admitting it. It's honestly as refreshing as it is completely baffling. Uh, it seems counterproductive for me. It seems more like it should be live and let live. I see now, you're one of those people. The worst kind of people in my opinion. The kind of people who turn up to a discussion that they don't understand, have no intention of looking into, and saying, why can't we all just get along? And then feel smugly superior to everyone around them. Like seriously, 
That shit is completely infuriating, especially when it comes to differences that affect people's lives. You aren't a good, morally superior person for just ignoring the fact that we have differences that often need to be resolved. You are an ignorant imbecile for thinking that your meaningless attempts at bringing people together are doing anything other than making you look like a tool. And frankly, I have more respect for the 99% of people who I disagree with for not pretending that we should simply agree to disagree than I am with this shit. If your pursuit is intelligence, that's great. My pursuit is intelligence also. Your pursuit is intelligence? Not gonna lie, but I kinda don't believe you. Because seriously, by not thinking about any of the things you believe and not understanding the things that oppose those things, and by trying to stop people from correcting each other when they are wrong, that's how you pursue intelligence? Damn it, you're gonna need a bigger trophy. What the f*** is actually wrong with you, my dude? Uh, I very much believe in science. I very much believe uh, in a lot of things that you believe too. I'm sure you think you do, but I also believe that if I want the world to be the best way it can be, I need to fight for that. And if you're going to stand between me and the people who are trying to make the world a worse place, don't be surprised if you get a stray cream pie to the face. And certainly, don't tell me that you're pro-science, but are somehow not anti the people who would try everything in their power to f*** it all up. No. Uh, except for I believe that there is a god, and you believe that there isn't. So... And what a shonking shonk! You don't even know what the general definition most atheists use is. No, I don't believe there isn't a god, I don't know, but I don't accept the claims you make to his realness. Maybe if you actually, actually were trying to do an intelligence, you would start by knowing what f***ing words mean. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships, and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-